What's up guys, this is the Wifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, we have just been slaughtering the Marathas. And we've given them a chance to end turn and see what they would like to do. And the forces uh, currently under siege at Goa are selling out. So let us meet them. They do have mortars, so they will be our priority target with artillery. Last chance to survive the sally. Or if they've got more turns left in them. Um, but kill as many of their troops on the field as I can. Going for going for the cities can be a bit a bit cheap at times. I think this campaign's gone on for so long. <laughs> I think I want to speed up and get on to the get on, get on to India. Because I don't normally do a lot of fighting in India. Okay, so it's mildly mildly defensive. Mildly, mildly. Let's drop my guns in. Good stuff. Oh, that's a lovely little position, actually, on the flank. We'll redeploy you. Um, let's put both my cavalry on this flank, and I'll put my light infantry cover the pass in case they try and run around and flank us then my howitzer in the center firing good old quick line and my general somewhere more sensible oh, can't fly a quick climb Decimate a lot of their artillery right off the bat. As is normal with Indian factions, there are lots and lots and lots of cavalry. Dakani lances. They're rather nice. It's the general, very weakened general's bodyguard unit. Uh, but let's speed up time for them to sort out their positions and what they plan to do. Because they're attacking us. So it looks like they want to set up their formation first. They're trying to engage us in counter-battery fire. But we've got more guns. Actually, where are their... Their mortars are still here. They've not yet passed within howitzer range, which they're all pretty sure they've got less range than my 24-pounders, so that's a useful marker. This unit may as well just hit units that are in position. You guys focus on hitting the 24 pounders. It's poor of a job you're doing of it. Okay, here's our first. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the, that was the howitzers. Howitzers are they really going after them? As they seek to charge my gun. I am sceptical of their success, even if my artillery wasn't ready to fire. Although they've missed. There's only 17 of them. Yeah, and they got shredded by artillery fire. No dice, Marathas. Okay, they are sending elephants and such might try to do something sneaky so let's line these troops up there stretch this flank out a bit yeah they're not within quick line range yet go after these lances as they charge in these guns Switch to canister, go after these lances. They're out of range now, but they will soon be in range.
Eh, you could play stakes, but... Yes, quick line range. Go after the cavalry. Delicious canis. Delicious shrapnel shot. So they are. Well, they're not being sneaky necessarily. They will pass in front of my guns. Let's keep them firing around shot. Because the terrain there is, doesn't, is not good, as good for shrapnel as it is for here. Just gonna miss my gunners, which is nice. Um, just gonna leave them as is. Round shot them and send these guys to start attacking the troops over here, and then it's start to move my infantry over. Get one of my cuirassiers to nail it towards their artillery. And the other can just move up pleasantly. Well, cast shot might be the better choice. The general might try to do something sneaky. Some Pandari horsemen here, but not enough to, to change the price of fish. Let's retarget our quick climbing artillery. So for those sorts of charges that I've done with the Crossiers, it'd be better to use light cavalry, because my guys get very, very tired. Even though they're not making the there we go. The actual sword noise. You can see the cavalry charging in. Change their mind. Got the Pindari Horseman. The General might come within range to get picked off by my hidden light infantry. Good to be charged by Garrison Guards. It's not healthy at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. It's completely natural for my for my uh, cavalry to do that. Again, these are just skirmish cavalry, but they are active, so they will probably kill some of my cuirassiers. Let's get my 
also take the lances to the rear. Go on then, get my cover in, charge my engineers in. Very sloppy indeed. Pikemen? Don't like pikemen. You fellows better reload quickly. Because some guys with pointy sticks want to say hello. Fire! No! We didn't get the shots off. Warm him. Move out my infantry. Switch my artillery to round shot. My heart is anyway. Pikemen are handy, but I mean, they're tearing through my guys quite well, but we've got them on the flank. Crosshairs are routing against Hindi warriors, but I suppose they caught them on the, man on the uh, manoeuvre. Get everyone involved. You guys run on. Chase down the Hindu warriors. I mean, don't walk, run! Man. Although, they did say light infantry is quite good to tangle up with elephants. Let's change the artillery to go after this. My artillery to also focus on that uh, elephant unit. Yep, my my light infantry did not take kindly to being shot at either. Oh, that's a messy one. Um, I think I might end that. That was a bit. That was really messy. That was a. Just goes to show sometimes my formations are pretty inflexible. But we withstood so now. Let's see what the Marathas would do with the rest of their turn. Because we've had the Afghanistan bridge battle, we've had the Goa Sally, and we've had the Hyderabad Sally. They've not. Uh, and they've fled. With this army into my turbat. Yep, that's you. Chase them down. I see these guys, but I'm not worried about them. This guy's hunkered down. <laughs> He's not going to make a move. Okay, so Charles after Santa Guerra. Victory! So you've taken care of him. Make ready. So now, Joseph, you can probably march. march on to Kashmir. Ready. At the ready. You Move. can march on to Move. Punjab. Put them under siege. Soon, yes, put them sir. under siege. You take over the fort. Yes. You head northeast. Ready and waiting for. Order. Could engage them, but I'll see everywhere else first. Okay, so effect. Well, yeah, we effectively fought that. Okay, maintain they siege. <laughs> Was anticipating the reinforcements back. being there. But, yeah, makes sense. It's this whole area near Satara. No one wants to make the first move. 
Make ready. So if I hit Fire! them, oh well, yeah, that's just a cleaning up a fragment. Prepare the troops for battle. Let's move you west. More orders forward. Sir. Let's move you up. I mean, yeah, no one's. Siege of Barabad, there's only 27,000 a turn. Let's put them both under siege. Settlement besieged. Okay, so what I think I want to do to help tidy things up At the ready. is send so, Philip Watson. Well, let's first let's move. Move my infantry March. reinforcements close. Ready and so I can engage. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. <laughs> it's so long it can't even appear on the scroll. Um, but yes, let's clear them out of our territory that we. So we don't have these uh, these random little stacks running around in, uh, in in the green zone. We don't need we don't need that kind of trouble in the green zone. Cleaning these these parts is a real pain because things happen so quickly and over so many different parts of the continent. Um. So the native troops are sufficiently non-solid. I might actually put them at the core where they can support each other with a bit of overlapping fire. So let's put three infantry up here. You and the guards and capture this. Capture this hill with the scope that they'll probably move up. I'm not say dropping, dropping quick line. Keep my cavalry on the right. Help capture this hill. General in the centre. Okay. Do I even want to take this hill? I want to deploy you guys out. Knocked out the first artillery battery with the opening volley. Oh, this chap might be a field marshal. He's got a very large troop. Bodyguard unit. Oh, we've got some hidden units. Let's engage this last set of artillery. To be honest, it's probably not even worth, worth it. Go after some other things with my characters. Okay, I want to do this, I think. Not that, not that. Bring up my cavalry. Dervishes because they're right in front of you. Let's get these guys to go to square. I'd like to have the one next to it to go into square so it means they can't just hit this one and go, no, it's gone into square, bounce onto the one next to it. No, I think I might want to keep these guys back. So these to fire on units. Okay, charge in. charge the guns. No, they're not. Good. Fire straight through them into someone else. So you miss the cavalry. You're going to form square. Continue. Now you chase. 
chase the Pandari horsemen. You come out of the square and join the battle of Hindu warriors. I mean, I don't know if squares do anything against elephants. as effective as firing at them, but with using fire by rank. Yeah, these are all peasants. and the infantry just to set up a rank and fire at the elephants. So I'm hitting them with my own how to fire because what the hell else do you do? Engage them. Oh, they can fire into the rear. Quite handy. Yep. Mass route. Four mics again. The lances are getting engaged. But this flank is failing. Pivot. Guns, as long as I can reform my new line. Charge into the warriors. Oh dear. You're a bit exposed, aren't you, cannons? This is a very really scrappy one. Can you clear them out? Don't charge them, that was a silly mistake. You turn fire all off. Bowl straight through this gap. Now you turn fire all back on. You hit the gun. You might have to charge in to go help deal with them. Very nice when you start coming this way. Turn around and face the Desert Warriors. Let's get the African Guards over here. Go to the 
dervishes leave the armed peasantry. Let's get quick Lyman to go help this flank. Ninja Warriors doing good. Thank god there's only 66 of them. This one was very scrappy. I think fatigue setting in now. This is like a third part of I recorded the last three US parts one after another. I need a break and go get a drink. No, you don't. Get back. Steaks. Hey, we got him! Like I killed him with my general. So I've still got some lances. They're still scary. Individually. Come on, African Guard. There's a couple of guys that still need to reload. We are getting reinforcements, but I'm not that bothered about reinforcements. Push them up into point blank range. Okay, one of you go for the peasantry, one of you go for the lances at the back. Ooh, good collateral shot there. Got the peasantry and the lances. These guys might route because they're going to be fighting. Right in your face, man. Fire! Fire into their backs. It's the best time to kill a man. Don't listen to the laws of honour and all that nonsense. That's how people get killed. Hey, these guns are still working. I forgot about you. It's coming out. It's going after the lancers. Foot artillery going after peasantry to the front. Maybe for all my artillery to go after them. Pound them such there is nowhere for them to go. Position to shrapnel shot to hit them in the shrapnel shot now. There we go. Now it's back over here. With these Akili Desert Warriors. Man, they've had enough. No one's ready to rock and roll. Well, let's let's end that there. That was a that was a a, a muck. Yeah, we paid it back in kind though, in a three to one ratio. Chandraheshka Panga Panganamamula. I'm not even. <laughs> hmm. Chandraheshka Panganamula. Close enough. Forward. Apologies March. for people that are upset by my ability or lack thereof to pronounce difficult things. Tis an affliction I have had for a long time. But it's just group. That's what experienced infantry together. Make ready. We can just fold in four Forward. fresh ones. March. Good stuff. Maybe even just carry on. 
yeah, that's an auto as well, that one. Undefeated by the left. March. Good stuff, guys. Ready for Bring you guys to here, I think. Ready, Could chase them down. But I want to attack these guys, but at the same time I don't want to chase them towards the Hayden. Because I did realise when I sent these guys down I've left the city unguarded. So I don't want to interfere with them too much. And no one's really in a position to help. Um, I think... Sir, at the, ready. the time is right to hit Dewey Pant. Yes, sir. Dewey Pant? Dewey Pant? Just hit him with Stuart Busby. Actually, maybe Colin Eden. He's got a better army. I mean, if I run out and they say, Haha, you've attacked us, that's what I want. Anything more? Let's go after you, specifically. So we'll have a couple of guys coming from behind us and to the flank of the position, but the bulk are in front of us and they're already depleted. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for hopefully the decimation of the final forces around Afghanistan. Cheers everyone.